Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The Ministry of Home Affairs or MHA has awarded six officials of the Assam Police with the prestigious Kendriya Grihamantri Dakshata Padak, while four officials have been given the award in the Special Operations field. Other two officers have been given the award in the field of investigation. The four officials given the award in the Special Operations field are all part of Assam's Special Task Force or STF. They are IGP and head of STF Partha Sarathi Mahanta, additional SP Kalyan Kumar Patak, LNK Himante Kachari, and UB Constable Raj Kumar Kai Bharta. This prestigious honor recognizes their outstanding contributions in addressing some of Assam's most pressing criminal issues dating from 21 March 2023 to 20th March 2024. The Tura Government College or TGC hosted the 12th General Conference of the Meghala Government College Teachers Association or MGCTA on Thursday at the TGC Auditorium Hall in Tura. The event drew educators from various institutions across the state focused at fostering cordial collaboration among educators and tackling key educational challenges in the state. Representatives from Kyang Nangba Government College, College of Teachers Education in Rongkong, Sora Government College, William Nagar Government College, Captain Williamson Memorial Government College in Bagmara, including the host college Tura Government College, attended the event. The primary objective of MGCTA is to ensure the well-being and welfare of government college teachers. The government of Meghalaya, in its notification, has formulated a scheme for placing of fund at the disposal of the deputy commissioners through their respective district task force in order to implement the Meghalaya Residence Safety and Security Act or MRSSA 2016 in the state. In order to implement the provisions of the Act, the District Task Force was constituted with the Deputy Commissioner as a Chairperson and Additional Deputy Commissioner, Assistant Commissioner as Secretary Members of the Task Force shall include the Superintendent of Police, Inspector of Supply, Inspector of Labour, Inspector Infiltration Branch, Anti-Infiltration Directorate, Representative from Autonomous District Council and two non-official members from amongst the local authority. The government of Meghalaya has officially launched a district-level funding scheme to support the implementation of the Meghalaya Residence Safety and Security Act MRSSA 2016. This initiative places funds directly at the disposal of deputy commissioners or DCs through their respective district task force, ensuring each district is equipped to operationalize MRSSA effectively and strengthen resident safety across the state. As outlined in the notification, each district task force will be chaired by the Deputy Commissioner with the additional Deputy Commissioner or Assistant Commissioner serving as Secretary. Task force members include the Superintendent of Police, representatives from Anti-Infiltration Directorate, Departmental Inspectors, Autonomous District Council representatives and two non-official members from local authorities. The scheme establishes a revolving fund starting at Rs 2 lakh per district with budget adjustments based on specific district needs, especially for those with a larger number of traditional bodies or Durbar involved in resident monitoring. This approach to tailored funding aims to streamline resources, enabling DCs to access budgets as needed. The objective of the Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act MRSSA 2016 is to ensure enhanced security, vetting of the tenants and to ensure the safety and security of the citizens of the state by preventing anti-social elements from gaining shelter in the state which might be detrimental to peace and tranquility, to maintain public order and peace, to verify and regulate the tenants residing in the rented houses in the state, to establish district task force and facilitation centres, to facilitate effective enforcement of various laws and for safety and security of the citizens and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Hinyawasa United's hopes were dashed with a 2-0 defeat to Mautari Mardon in Group E of the Meghala State League MSL 2024 at Wa Yajer on Thursday. This was the only fixture scheduled for Thursday and Silver Star Karbani, 54th minute and 70th minute, struck twice in the second half to give Mautari Mardon victory. Mautari Mardon won the opening match against Senbhalang Shkentalang 3-1 three days ago, while Nyowasa lost 9-0 to Shilong Lajong in the curtain raiser on Saturday. Defeat means that Nyowasa, champions of the inaugural MSL, will not be able to progress to the quarterfinals no matter how their last group fixture goes. Each of the six group winners plus the best two second-place teams overall will qualify for the knockout round of the tournament. Lajong and Mautari Mardon have six points each, meaning that the fight for first and second in Group E is in the hands of these two sides alone. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast.
For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela.